Good morning. Hi, you must be Lori. I am, Lori Cohn. I'm Yvonne Clark. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Your diabetes educator told me that um, you were having some problems understanding this big diabetes medical management plan packet and that you find it confusing. And I discussed with your educator how we can use algorithms to help you translate the information from all of those pages into an at-a-glance, easy-to-follow pathway map, however you want to describe it. But the official term is an algorithm. So what are some of the problems that you feel you've been having with this plan? Well, this plan has a lot of pages, and there are lots of different numbers on every page mm -hmm. about blood glucose. And then I get lots of different numbers on my meter, and I'm having a hard time figuring out how to use these numbers to follow the plan. Okay. Do you mind if I look at your meter a second? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to look at your results from yesterday, and it'll help us practice using this algorithm today. Okay. So, I have put this on a handout for you, so it's yours to take away after our session Great. today. Easy for you to reference. And you can follow along with me here on the board, or you can follow along in your algorithm handout. I don't expect you to have it with you all times because it's not always easy to carry paper about with you. But what I would ask is if you take a photograph of it with your smartphone, if you have one. I do. Okay. And store it in there. So if you're out and about and you are testing your blood glucose and you have to know what to do, and you want to refer to the algorithm, you have easy access to it. Okay? Okay. I would also recommend that and there's a few spots on the algorithm that refer ask you to refer to certain pages within your DMMP, pages 13, 12, and 15. So again, I would recommend that you photograph those pages and carry those with you in your smartphone. Okay? Okay. The rest of the algorithm has condensed the information from your multiple page document. So you, this will negate the fact you won't have to keep leafing through it all the time. These are just easy to follow steps if you follow the arrow. Now you may have noticed that there's some different colors here, the red and the green. In your mind, what does red and green signify when you come to yes and no questions? Well, red means stop, green means go, so something's good or something's bad. Exactly. So the red is to alert you to that this is something you need to have caution about. And as you can see, sometimes the word yes is in green and the word no is in red, but here it's flipped. So it's not necessarily the word. It's more the action or the outcome. Okay. okay. Now, I could spend a lot of time going over this and, and reciting it to you, but I'd like to work through some of your blood glucose ranges that you've got so that you can understand it, you can have the hands-on um, experience of working through this. So just to recover, uh, cover what the diabetes educator told me the problems were, was that you had difficulty understanding your target blood glucose range. And therefore, today we're going to demonstrate how you can use this algorithm to understand your blood glucose range and what appropriate action you should take. And I'm also going to talk to you about the benefits of using this as opposed to trying to use memory recall, guessing, or leafing through your DMMP. Does that sound good? It sounds great. Okay. So yesterday, I noticed yesterday at 10.30 a.m., your blood glucose was 65. So let's look at the beginning of the algorithm. What's the first question? Is my blood glucose between 70 and 100? And the answer is no. No, exactly. So you'll go to no. And here we have another branch. So this constantly branches off, ask you a question, then it'll ask you a yes or no answer. So your blood glucose is not in your target range, but we want to know is it below your target range or above? So below is less than 70. And then we get concerned when it's very high and above 300. So what would you say? Your blood glucose was 65 yesterday? Yes, so it's below 70. Okay, so let's follow along this path pathway. Yesterday, could you swallow? When I you could. could. You could. Okay, so if you couldn't swallow, you would have called 911. So you could swallow. The answer to that was yes. And I'm sure you took a fast-acting carbohydrate. Is that what you did yesterday? I did. I love cake icing. Good. And that was one of the things your diabetes educator had shared with me, your three favorite go-to fast-acting carbohydrates. Um, I just want to draw your attention to the acronym CHO, 
and that's an acronym for carbohydrate. And it was so I could get as much information in the small box as possible. Well, I've seen that before, but I didn't know what it meant. There you go. So we put your top three items, and these things can be carried around in your purse, so you'll always have those fast-acting sugars with you. So after you've done your 15 minutes, you're going to recheck again. We're going to find out, is your blood glucose still less than 70? Do you, let me see, what was it yesterday? Do you remember? I think, you, it, I think it went up, but I don't remember how high. Well, it went to 100 yesterday, okay. after you had your 15 minutes. So is your blood glucose less than 70? No. No. Then we're asking if your next meal is more than one hour away, we're recommending you eat a slow-acting carbohydrate. And that's to prevent you from getting hypoglycemic again. Because okay. the fast-acting sugar brings your blood glucose up very fast, but then it will drop off. If you take the slow-acting sugar or carbohydrate, such as crackers or banana, that will sustain you until your next meal. Your diabetes educator had told me that crackers and banana are your go-to items and that you carry them in your purse also. I want to cover with you though, if your blood glucose continued to be less than 70 yesterday, you would have had another fast-acting carbohydrate and then we would have went through the scenario again. And as you can see, this asks you to call for help if you cannot get your blood glucose to go above 70 and it refer, asks you to refer to your DMMP in page 15, which you have recommended you photograph and store in your phone. And I will. Okay. So let's go back here. Have you ever had an instance when your blood glucose has been very high, when it's went above 300? Oh, I think one time it was 370. Okay. So in that situation, if your blood glucose was out of range and it was above 300, um, can you tell me which one you would pick here, the red yes or the green no? I would pick the yes because it was above 300. Okay. And as you, one of the concerns that your educator had was that you had a page for, in your DMP, a page for hypoglycemia, a page for hyperglycemia, and all these different pages. And she said that you found that confusing. So as you can see, we have this one easy page for you. So yes, your blood glucose is above 300. It's telling you to test your ketone. Do you remember how to do that? Yes, I urinated in a cup and I dipped my stick into the ketones and I let it rest for 15 seconds, I think, and then I compared it to the bottle. Okay, and then when you compare it to the bottle, you can answer the next question. Are ketones present, yes or no? And here, I refer you back to the DMMP, to pages 12 and 13, purely because there's a lot more detailed steps to take and that's too much to have in an algorithm. There are points in time you have to leave the algorithm and go to your plan. So do you feel that's covered everything we, we plan to talk about today? I do. Do you feel that you have a better understanding in how to manage your blood glucose ranges? Oh, this is much easier than trying to go through all these pages. I like having it on one sheet. Good. And when your blood glucose is out of range, most people get confusion, irritability, um, a little bit of fatigue and therefore it may be hard for you to understand how to go through those pages whereas if you have one document where you can go at a glance you can um, excuse me a second um, you can it'll help you at those times when you're confused or irritable when your blood glucose is out of range okay, okay? so thank you for coming in and working through this with me today and I'll follow up with your diabetes educator on your next appointment Great. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you. I'll show you out.